we finally have a way to edit our text prompts between variations. Midjourney just introduced their new feature Remix and it's incredible. With Remix, we can now essentially change aspects of already generated images. You can change styles, the main character, colors, materials and much more. In this tutorial, we'll go over three in-depth examples to demonstrate how Remix works. And by the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how to use the Remix feature. That being said, let's begin. The way that you enable the Remix feature is by typing slash settings and then making sure that you select Remix here. So just make sure that is green. When selected, you can start writing out your desired prompt as usual. So let's begin with example one, where we'll create the images of a man from a baby to an elder. I'll begin by typing slash imagine as we normally do, and I'm going to be using this prompt. I want to create realistic vintage style photographs. So I'll begin my prompt with vintage photo and realistic. I'm also going to start from the man as a baby, so I'll write one year old baby for the main subject and follow that up with some extra details, in our case portrait of a smiling baby face and I'll be running this in test creative. Remix works in all versions of mid journey but at different difficulties, I'll address this in the second example in a lot of detail. Here's the result for the first prompt that we just run. I really do like this image, so I'm going to start remixing it. To remix your image, all you have to do is click on V1, just like we did before, and that's going to bring up the following text box. Remember that this happens because we have remix mode enabled before running the prompt. Here we can make any changes we want to our text prompt, and once we click on submit, Midjourney will start creating a variation but with the new changes that we input here. So I want to change the age of our character to 5, so I'm going to substitute 5, uh, 1 with 5. And I'm also going to change some of these other words where it says baby, I'm going to change it to child, just so that it can enhance the, the results a little bit more. And then I'm going to click submit. Our baby is now magically five years old, so happy birthday to it. And Midjourney has done an amazing job here. Notice the similarities between these two images. These similarities will become even more apparent as we continue to remix, but the composition is pretty much unchanged. The hair flow is to the left in both images and the facial features like the eyes, the cheeks, the smile are extremely alike. I've repeated this process for the ages of 10 years old 15 and 15 I obviously changed the child to a teen because he's a teen given that he's 15 I've done that for 20 again changing the teen to a man and I've continued to do that for 25 30 and then from 30 onwards I've incremented by 10 years These are all the results summarized Notice how similar they are. It really does look like the same person aging over time in case I wasn't clear earlier by the way I always remixed the latest variation. So to obtain the 10 year old image, I remixed the five year old image. To obtain the 15 year old image, I remixed the 10 year old image and so on. If you try to create all the images from the one year old image, they won't look that similar. And that does make sense because we make small changes with every variation, jumping five to 10 years at a time. And thus our main character changes only slightly and retains most of its features. However, notice how our color scheme changes with the more variations that we make. That's a bit of a negative here because the more you remix, and this also applies to normal variations, the more mid journey starts to force the image into a purple hue. This happens when you create variations of variations of variations. Overall though, Remix worked amazing here, but this was a relatively simple example given the minimum level of change in each text prompt. Okay, now let us examine the difference between remixing in test and remixing in V3. I'll begin with test. I have a very simple prompt of a gold bust with studio lighting and I tried remixing it to be a jade bust instead while still in the test version. You can see it took about 12 images to start resembling the jade material and the incremental changes were very minimal. 
Now for comparison, I've remixed the same starting image by changing to V3 and remixing in V3 instead. You can see that the progress was much quicker where within two remixes I had the basic composition I needed and then simply with an upscale and remaster I got much better end results than I did after 12 variations in test. Notice that our previous example with the aging man seemed to work very well in test and I believe that is because the changes in that composition were not so drastic while here we have a much bigger change. When changing the material of the statue MJ also changes the statue itself, likely due to the fact that jade statues generally come from the far east and thus having a different aesthetic overall. So the key takeaway here is that it seems for minor changes remixing in test is okay, but for more significant drastic changes it's best to jump into V3. The two examples we've completed so far are relatively simple as they consist only of a subject with a plain background. So I want to demonstrate a more complex remix so we can even better understand how remix works. These characters are from the game Guild Wars 2 which I absolutely love and are called Silvari. They are botanical humanoids which I wanted to recreate using Midjourney. I began in V3 to obtain the composition I want before upscaling and remastering which renders and converts the image to test. Once I obtained my reference image here on the right I wanted to change the gender of the Silvari character from a female to male. I changed my prompt and substituted beautiful Silvari female with Silvari male athletic male and I began trying to remix and test. But unfortunately Midjourney was not really changing the character to male. If I continued to remix and test it would have taken me tons of variations and this is not ideal for a few reasons. First, the more variations we make, the more our composition changes as all the minor changes between variations add up to produce a very different end result. Second, as we noticed from our first example, the more variations we conduct, the more Midjourney forces a tint or purple hue over the image which I really don't want. And finally, obviously it takes more time and I want to save my sweet sweet fast hours. Due to these reasons I scrapped the remix in test and given our demonstration with the gold to jade bust I tried remixing in V3 which showed to be a lot more powerful at remixing in our gold to jade bust example. This is because of the different way mid journey models work making V3 a lot more flexible and sensitive. From the very first remix in V3 you can notice that the anatomy of the character has changed to a more manly one which was not the case when remixing in test even after 4 variations. I continued remixing variations until I obtained the composition I was happy with then upscaled and remastered it. It worked out very well. There are some differences caused by the variations trying to get the composition right but the general feeling, background and character pose is still very similar. I think the main difficulty in remixing with V3 was getting the right composition ready to upscale rather than difficulty in getting the remix changes to take effect. But getting the right composition has always been the difficulty with V3 in my opinion so nothing new here. Also in case you didn't know you can actually remaster an image more than once and that produces you with different results so if you remaster an image that you have upscaled and you get a result that you're not happy with Go back to the upscaled image and remaster it again and again until you get a good result. It honestly provides you with amazing different results and it's a very powerful tool to make V3 work. I repeated the same process remixing using V3 to obtain a cyborg as well. Before the final tip if you enjoyed this video do subscribe as I release one of these videos every week, typically on Thursdays. So the final tip to mention in this video and I'm sure I'll be creating a part 2 on remix is that you can actually remix old images that you have already created. You can simply import them by copy pasting the job ID from the website and using slash show in discord with the job ID. Enable remix mode and just start remixing. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.